Hi everyone, today I'm showing you what I keep in my bag. I have a head. This is Midge from the Life in the Dream House line. Her hair came kind of weird. Her bangs were never quite what I wanted, but she has this pretty red hair. So I'm going to give her new red hair with this yarn. It looks orange, but trust me, it's red. And I think that would be pretty cute. So let's do it. This is what I use. I have scissors. I have pliers. And a needle. This is a really big craft needle. It's not just like in your sewing kit. If you only sew, you need a craft needle. See, this is where I got it. It's pretty much the biggest needle that comes with a pack of craft needles. It's big. So first let's remove her earrings. They're a little tough. There they go. See, there they go. Earrings. So you get a trash bag, you get your head, you get your scissors and you cut. Cut off all of her hair as short as you possibly can make it. Then it's nice and cut off, short, short, short. And then you get your pliers and you start pulling out the hair. This takes about 23 minutes and at the end your hands are gonna hurt. But it's quite satisfying, actually. Especially when you get a big clump. So this is almost done. When it gets to be this, you kind of have to squish your head. And sometimes you can get it from the top and pull it through without any too much problem. Yeah, I just grab all those suckers and pull them out. So there we go. Yep, 23 and a half minutes. My hands are killing me. Okay, so what do we think? Super cute. I need a break from, from my hands, they're killing me. So this is how I thread my needle. Every piece of yarn seems to be different and the technique I use is kind of different. Usually I find this one is pretty foolproof. You can go like this, you squish it down between your fingers and then you just kind of squish the needle in there. Um, some people use the threaders. I find this way to be faster, honestly. Usually it, it works pretty easy. So then you have your yarn. You put it through like that. And then what you want to do is you want to start and do all the way around, filling in about one in every three holes or one in every two. Pretty even together, but not. you don't want too much yarn. You get too much yarn and it's just silly. So then you do a few scattered, like here, here, and here, in the here, in the part. You do a few in the part. And then I, I mostly f do several of these, not all of them. You want to skip about every other one, if not more, all the way around. So you get a good kind of layer of hair and then hardly anything up here, just like sporadic, because you're not going to be able to see it. And see, here's the difference. This is the first doll I did, and I did almost every single um, hole, right? Not all of them, but really close. And that took forever. And it, as you can see, her hair is super duper thick. And it's fine because she has a lot of color in there, but it took forever and it's really thick and you just don't need to do that. So with her, 
I didn't do that. I used a lot fewer holes. And her hair is still really thick, but it's more of a realistic thickness. Anyway, so I'll show you how we begin. So uh, I like to start around here-ish, poke that baby on through, stick it like that. And now it gets tough going like this. So it's time to deploy your tweezers. Grab them and yank. So, then, I like to pull a pr Oh. Okay. So then, you take the ends, that you, and you tie it in a knot, and then, yeah, cut it. I'm using a lot of extra so you can see. And throw that away. Then, so here's my knot sticking out of her neck, pull it, this is called the knot method, there's also a glue method, and that works too, but it's a lot messier as you can imagine. Then, oh, get the scissors back, you want to leave pretty long length so that you can cut it later, so, and then start over, three thread your needle, and go to town. I like to watch a lot of YouTube videos while I do this, or a Harry Potter marathon, or binge watch Downton Abbey or something, because this takes quite a bit of time. Sometimes that happens, and that sucks. You need all of that to come through. There you go. Oh, not too bad. This thread's pretty good. I mean yarn. This yarn's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to skip a few holes and go about here. <laughs> I'm trying to make my own hole. Um, let's do this one. So I've skipped about two or three. So, I mean, just, just the yarn part itself, not the part where I, I take out all her hair, that took 23 minutes, but the part where it's just this takes a long time. We're talking several hours, so clear your evening if you're going to do this. All right, we'll see you later. So here's my finished project. I am thinking I should have stopped while I was ahead because if you let it go too much and do too many holes, their hair gets really thick. So I cut hers kind of short and I had a little bit of fun with it. And see, it's still a little bit sparse on the top, but you can cover that. I love her. I think she's super cute. I also took my um, fairy godmother and made her into Bellatrix. I can paint her wand and I just, you know, Bellatrix would have had dreadlocks being in Azkaban for so long so I wanted to make her kind of fun. Plus I don't have a Bellatrix doll, I need one. I had a dress for her but I don't know where it went. Anyway, and her shoes, I could paint those black and they could totally be Bellatrix shoes. Uh, it'd be nicer if they were boots, though. Maybe I can make them into boots. And here's a diva or midge that I did. And she's fun because her hair is bananas. It is all kinds of different colors, and I just dropped her uh, stand thing. She's from the Barbie Basic line. I also did a Mackie from the Fashionista line. Originally I planned to redo her hair pink, but I decided she could be kind of crazy. And we also have Ken from the basic line with, uh, you know, dreads. So I hope you enjoyed uh, checking out my yarn dolls as much as I liked making them. 
and I'll see you next time.